1969, the Washington Redskins drafted a blocking back in the eighth round. A year later, Larry Brown was the best runner in pro football. his autobiography. He ran it on the playing fields of the NFL. It's a story that goes beyond the slashing moves and the breakaway touchdowns. It speaks proudly of courage, determination, and ultimately survival. It's not hard to find the Hill District in Pittsburgh. Just follow the trail of abandoned dreams leading from the center of town. Brown grew up in this grim environment. Brown escaped the ghetto through the narrow alley of athletics. He did it with a powerful desire to achieve that was evident to everyone who met him. You know, they talk about Larry's lack of size being just under six feet and under 200 pounds, but you can't measure his heart. He's all heart, he uh, wants to succeed, and that, that's what got it, just pure desire and pride in his own performance. Redskin coach Vince Lombardi made Brown his halfback. He then discovered that Brown was deaf in one ear and devised a special helmet with a hearing aid. What Lombardi didn't have to do was motivate his rookie. The hardship of Brown's youth hammered a toughness into his manhood that made him the most fearless runner in the game. was the league's leading rusher in 1970 and the NFL's Player of the Year in 1972. After four years as the league's best, challenging every obstacle in his path, Brown was hobbled by injuries. He could no longer take the punishment. His body simply would not respond in the way that it was accustomed. Sometimes I hate it, but deep down inside, I kind of, well, feel that this hate is really love for the game, you know, and on the outside, hate is just well, the disguise for something that you really love. To watch Brown run was to understand the very essence of the man. 